Right, I'm here at the wheelbase uh, big demo day up in Staveley and uh, this is bike, unfortunately I'm probably not going to have time to ride but it's definitely on my hit list for a proper look at later because this is White's E-MTB hardtail and to be honest that's significant because it's a white and as you can see it's proper white geometry so 65.5 degree head angle, short offset fork 450 mil rear end and you know just all that characteristic white features like this bracelet uh wishbone on there try and make the ride a bit smoother give it a bit more life and spring to the frame you've got a long stroke dropper post as standard you've got a short stem you've got proper bars you know it's you know he, uh, an air sprung fork on there with a through axle big maxis forecaster 2.6 inch tires front and rear this is a proper trail bike but despite the fact it's an affordable e-bike when most but you know most brands in this category still producing what's essentially a hybrid but mountain bike styling like an suv style bike but on here you've got the uh, tektro orion so that's a uh, four pot uh, e-bike for specific brake big 200 mil front rotor and it's actually an extra thick rotor on there as well so you know purpose designed to take those extra stresses the extra heat of using an e-bike hard off-road and then You've got a 500 watt hour battery. It's uh, inside the tube there. It comes out down the base. It's not, you know, it's not like the uh, white e-bikes. It's not slammed under the motor for an extra sense of gravity gain. But because it's a smaller capacity motor, uh, battery, it's going to be lighter and the bike's going to be more agile anyway. And with a 305 mil bottom bracket height, it's pretty low and pretty slammed anyway. And uh, it's also uh, locked in, so you can still use this bike around town or if you live in a flat or somewhere where you need to get the battery out to charge it, then that's no problem at all. You've got a uh, GX rear mech as well, so 11 speed, uh, reasonable range of ratios on the back there. It's not, it's not Eagle. And you've got a reasonable range of ratios on the back there with that uh, full on Bosch uh, Gen 4 motor. So full power, 85 Newton meter uh, Bosch motor on there. And then you've got the basic head unit just to keep things affordable. But you know, you've got all your details that you really need on there and your usual range of modes. So yeah, full spec, full trail geometry, full trail capability, affordable e-mountain bike. I reckon that's, you know, that's, that's a real kind of entry category for a lot of people. You know, they might not buy it as their first bike. They might even buy it for someone else. Oh, lads. <laughs> they might even buy it for someone else but I can see people getting that in the household and then going do I'm going to nip out on that and then suddenly finding out that they'll ride it a lot but anyway speak to the lads at White and see if I can get a proper ride on that so thanks very much to uh, Toby at Wheelbase for inviting me over to the big demo if you've missed this one make sure you get to Hamsterley to uh, test ride all brilliant bikes from a whole wide range of brands on proper trails and with backup from the excellent Wheelbase crew as well but for now, I've been Guy Kesteven on Guy Kest TV talking about the new white E505.